If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer the question on your own before listening on. It might be helpful in this question to organize the information in a sort of table showing the various values for both the tortoise and the hare. So let's take a look at that. So here is that table, and in this table we're going to be plugging in expressions for the time that it takes for the animals to travel, their respective speeds, and then also the distances that they travel. What we can do for the tortoise is let the time that it takes to travel just be lowercase t. Because the hare stops for a two minute rest, that means that it will be traveling for less time than the tortoise. As the hare is taking its break, the tortoise is continuing to move, but the hare is at rest, and so it would be traveling for less time than the tortoise. And so we can call that time t minus two minutes, but it's actually better to convert the two minutes into seconds. And so we can actually back up and call that 120 seconds. We can next move on to the speed, and for the tortoise, it was given to us as being 0.10 meters per second. We will omit units for the sake of clarity. The hare is running 20 times as fast as the tortoise, so if we multiply this speed by 20, we would get the speed of the hare. So we'll go ahead and do so, and when we do that, we can see that the speed of the hare is 2 meters per second. And finally, on to the distances. We can see from the question that the tortoise actually travels a distance greater than the hare by 20 centimeters. Now if we convert that into the standard unit of meters, we would have 0.20 meters. Again, the tortoise will travel a greater distance. So what we're going to do is let the hare's distance be x, and therefore the tortoise will have traveled a distance of x plus 0.20, since it again had traveled farther. Now, after setting up this table, we want to consider one of the equations we learned from this chapter. And that equation looks like the following. We know that delta x is equal to the initial speed of an object multiplied by its time plus one-half times the acceleration times time squared. The question does not mention anything about these objects actually accelerating, so it is safe to say that the acceleration in this question is equal to zero. And that means that this entire term right here is going to disappear. And therefore, we can see that the distance that the objects travel in this problem is equal to their speed multiplied by their time. And that's an important idea here, because we're going to take the distance that each object travels, and we're going to set it equal to the speed of the object multiplied by the time that the object travels. And so the terms in parentheses that we just highlighted in blue are going to form one of our equations. The other equation will be similar. We're going to take the distance that the hare travels and set that equal to the speed multiplied by its time. The equations look a little confusing vertically, so let's go ahead and rewrite them horizontally. And we'll come over here and do that. So again, here we go. For the tortoise, we're going to have its distance set equal to its speed multiplied by the time. And then for the hare, we take its distance and set that equal to its speed times the time that it traveled. We now have a system of two equations and we can use the technique of substitution. Conveniently, the second equation is already solved for x. So what we're going to do is take this expression for x, and we're going to plug it in to the first equation. So we've come down here to show that work. Remember that the term in brackets is technically x, as was shown in the second equation. We can now solve this equation for t, and to do that we can distribute the two. We could then combine these like terms right here. Let's add the 239.8 to the right-hand side, and then subtract the 0.10t to the left-hand side. And then we can divide both sides by 1.9 to solve for the time t. And when we do that, we get approximately 126.2 seconds. And so this would be the correct answer to part A. This is the total length of time that the race takes. Now, for part B, they want the distance that the race takes, or the length that the race takes. Remember that only one of these two animals actually ran the full length of the race, and that was the tortoise, because he had completed the race. And so we're actually trying to solve for this distance right here, this x plus 0 0.20. Well, we recall that we had earlier set up an equation whereby we said x plus 0 0.20 was equal to the speed of the tortoise, multiplied by the time. But we just figured out the time to be 126.2 seconds. 
And so if we multiply these two quantities together, we're going to get 12.6, and the unit would be meters, since this is a distance. This is the correct answer to part B. Remember, we were solving for the entire length of the race, which was traveled by the tortoise. So we were actually not solving for x per se. We were solving for x plus that extra 0.2 meters that the tortoise had traveled.